Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Aries. Um, the title I got for you is called The Waiting Game. Um, I got Sam Smith, the song How Will I Know. Um, when he was like, How will I know if you really love me? I say a prayer with every heartbeat. I fall in love whenever we meet. But, um, the part I kept hearing was falling in love is so bittersweet. Um, I saw a person standing in the grass waiting, constantly looking at their watch. They'd stand, they'd wait, they'd look around, check the watch. That's all they kept doing. It was a man, but the gender doesn't matter in this particular meditation. Um, Aries, you're waiting on something. I'm not sure what, but I feel like it is something to do with waiting to know something. Waiting to see something. But you're still waiting, looking at your watch. Looking around, still looking, still unsure. How will you know if you really love me? Question mark. You're in a place of just not being sure, but instead of moving to moving yourself to a place where you feel sure, you're just waiting, looking at your watch, waiting on someone or something. You don't need anybody to make you feel sure. You can feel sure on your own, at least about you. Okay, so that's what I got for you, Aries. We're going to jump right in here and see what God, universe, angels, and the spirit God's got for you. God, universe, angels, and spirit God's. Please show us clear and concise messages for the sign of Aries. Clear and concise messages for the sign of Aries. What messages do we have for Aries, please? Clear and concise messages for Aries. Clear and concise messages for Aries and what they need to know. What messages do we have for Aries? What messages for Aries. What messages do we have for Aries, please? First card is the Three of Swords. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges, healing, misunderstandings, being those for the, being there for those in need. So this is Three of Swords energy, which is signifying heartbreak or challenges or growth. It's according to this card, but in the original tarot deck, that's still pain and heartbreak. Okay, Queen of Wands signifying that you know what you want here. It says brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Okay, so some of you could be struggling with the balance between life, career, and personal life. Messages for Aries. What messages? Okay. The Knight of so the Knight of uh, Pinnacles. Sorry. Um, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who's watching over you. So maybe that's what that waiting was. Maybe you're waiting for the perfect time. And maybe you know what actions you're going to take because of maybe you're experiencing something that's not so fulfilling at this time. And you know what actions you're going to take. You're just waiting on the proper time. Okay? See, because we got the page of wands on the bottom. Enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, and patient. News of exciting opportunities. So this is something exciting, a fresh new start. Okay? So let's see what we got from the mermaids. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. What mermaid messages do we have for the sign of Aries? Mermaid messages for Aries. What mermaid messages do we have for the sign of Aries, please? Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. What messages do we have for Aries, please? Gentleness. Messages for Aries. Blessings. And waiting there's waiting but it came out in the reverse 
So I don't know if that's signifying you're going to be done waiting or whatever. I'm going to just sit it there. Okay, healing on the bottom. There could be some of you out there healing from something. Breaking free in order to heal. Okay? So let's see. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. What messages do we have for Aries? Overall energy regarding this spread for Aries. What overall energy do we have regarding this spread for the sign of Aries? Overall energy regarding this spread for Aries. What overall energy do we have for Aries regarding this spread? Overall energy for Aries regarding this spread, please. Overall energy regarding this spread. Okay. Bad health on the bottom. First card out is um, toil and labor. Okay, that's a card where you feel like you're putting in a whole bunch of work, but you're not getting enough back, or you're not getting much back compared to all that the work that you are, compared to all the work that you are putting in to the situation, to the job, to whatever it is. Okay. And then we have privileged lady. Okay. And I'm gonna look and see what that's about. Because I really don't know what to tell you. This card represents prosperity, luxuries, creativity, and wellness. It may also show a young female friend or relative, girlfriend, sister, daughter, best friend, or a young privileged lady. When this card isn't referring to a person, it's talking about a lucky phase, being carefree, no worries. This is usually a positive card, but near bad ones, it can be family-related grief. So. Okay, so either it's being care carefree, no worries, or it's representing a young woman, a friend, or something. Maybe it's you got a friend or somebody that you know is putting in so much work and ain't getting much back or something like that. I don't know. We're going to clarify. So let's jump right in and see what the Spirit of Swords is. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. Clear and concisely clarify what this Three of Swords is for Aries. Clear and concisely clarify the Three of Swords and what Aries needs to know. What is this Three of Swords for Aries? Please clarify clear and concisely for Aries what this Three of Swords is. Clarify the Three of Swords for Aries. What does Aries need to know about the Three of Swords? Clarify this Three of Swords for Aries and what Aries needs to know about the Three of Swords. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. And what Aries needs to know about the three of swords. The high priestess, the four of wands. And the six of pentacles. So it, should, it could be an extra person involved because the Three of Swords also signifies a third party situation. But we also got the Three of Pentacles. I mean, the Three of Heart, Three of Cups on the bottom, and the Six of Pentacles, which could signify giving the two. Then we got the High Priestess, which could signify the unknown, mysterious, or just a secret. Okay? And I feel like maybe you found out about something. You found out about some secret here around something that you may have thought was stable or something you thought that you was building upon here. For some of you, you found out um, that there is a third party, okay? And now you want to stand your ground for justice here. Um, so this is it. This is it in the situation for some of you okay because you're finding out somebody is giving the two here you find out 
the secret is that somebody's giving it to here. Three of swords, three of cups. Uh, in a foundation where you thought was stable, where you thought was something being built here. But but the problem is you know what you want. Let's see, what is this tool? This sorry, not the two. I don't know why I'm asking. Page of cups reverse pop out, man. Six of you want to be appreciated. So, yeah. So uh what's the six of pentacles for Aries? Clarify the six of pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Four of Cups. I mean, the Four of Swords and the Fool card on the bottom. This is somebody retreating to take a leap of faith because they gained a new perspective and either they're going to go on they're probably going to go on by themselves and stand in their ground here. But it looks like King of Swords, he knows, okay, facts. He acts based upon facts, and he'll cut you off based upon some facts. So it looks like somebody got facts, and they also want to do make decisions that are best for them, okay? So clarifying the Six of Pentacles, this is somebody coming here speaking facts, okay, about something from the past or new love. So either you're speaking, come, somebody's coming in to speak facts about something from the past or speak facts about new love. But either way, somebody's wanting to retreat here. Why is the high priestess here? Clarify the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. For Aries. Eight of Pentacles. Why is the high priestess here? Clarify the high priestess. Knight of Wands, the Lovers, another third party card or a choice or a connection. Three of Pentacles. Charging in passionately. So, clarifying the High Priestess, we have um, the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Eight of Cups. So, I feel like somebody. I don't know. Somebody's. What's this strength card? Strength card. Clarify the strength card. One more on the strength card. Five of Pentacles. So the strength card is, is the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. So the High Priestess is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the strength card. So the secret is that somebody's still putting work in, okay? Because they feel at a cross, they feel like they're at a crossroad, and they want don't want to feel left out in the cold, so they're manifesting something. And I feel like this causes you to walk away. Okay, why? Because you know what you want, and you not in the business of sharing nobody. Queen of Queen of uh, Wands, knowing what you want, brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. You might need to be believe need me to believe in yourself at this time, and never underestimate the ability to make your dreams come true. Okay. So why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, there's the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person brings you out your element. And you can't have that, so you got to move forward. That's what that says. Yep, that's what that is. And you could be dealing with a Leo here. But they, jerk, they throw you off a of balance and make you feel like, you know. But you know what you want is what it's saying here. So now you may be having conflict or arguing or dealing with other people's opinions. More conflict or arguing. Because somebody makes you feel confused, okay? You're the queen of wands. Somebody at, probably makes you question that, okay? So you're putting it into the situation in order to move forward here. And you might be waiting on the right time, okay? With that knight of pentacles there. Why is the knight of pentacles here for Aries? 
clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. The King of Wands came out. We got Seven of Wands and the Nine of Wands and the Hangman. So this is a lot of guarded energy here. Somebody's waiting and they guard it. But there is something new here. A new opportunity or a fresh start. That somebody's wanting to take charge of here. Okay. And I feel like they're going to be communicating it. But they're waiting for the right time. And then the King of Pentacles. It could be something financial that they're waiting on. The King of Pentacles. Clarify what the King of Pentacles is in this part. Yeah. You're waiting on the right time. The Nine of Cups. Wishes, hoping, still seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Waiting for the right time to cut off the heartbreak. Okay, because you're bored. Clarifying the King of Pentacles says that you're bored with the situation. And you're holding on to the fact that you're going to end this. But you could be waiting on some kind of financial gain here. Then we got gentleness. We're going to move over to that in a minute. We're going to first clarify what this toil and labor is. Okay. Clarify toil and labor for Aries. Clear and concise. We got a universe, angels, and spirit guy. What is this toil and labor for Aries? Clarify toil and labor for Aries. What does Aries need to know about this toil and labor? Clarify toil and labor for Aries. Why is toil and labor here? Five of Cups, first card out. Tower. Five of Wands. There's Aries energy on the bottom. Emperor taking charge to put the work into possibly a new start, a new opportunity, a new position, a new transition, something of that nature. But I feel like something in the situation was not what you expected. Okay. You ended up in toil and labor, and I think you was expecting an equal give and take. Okay. But this has disappointed you. Okay. It's caused a tower in your world, uh, uh, uh. A shake-up, a tower moment to disappoint you, okay? Could be arguing, going back and forth with you and your opinions and others' opinions. But um, we got the privileged lady here. Let's see what she has to do with this. Why is privileged lady here for Aries? Clarify privileged lady. Clarify privileged lady here. A lot, man. A lot that I'm not keeping. Too much. Okay. Clarify privilege, lady. The emperor. I feel like the privileged lady could be you. Okay. And you might not even know that you just privileged. Okay. But you, as soon as you, you won't see. As soon as you take charge of your life. Okay. You're in a defensive energy. You have a lot of wands. I feel like it's some guardedness about you right now. But you're still nonetheless in your queen of wands power when you make this decision to remove yourself from stagnation and retreat. Okay? Because this ain't what it is. Okay? So you, because you're going to, I don't know if you're looking for new love or you're just going to be working on your own love. But this, I don't think this is what you want to end love. So this ain't going to work out. Okay? Then we're going to move over here to where it says gentleness, okay? Why is gentleness here for Aries? Clarify gentleness. What does Aries need to know about gentleness? Seven of Pentacles reverse. Okay. I feel like you feel like this person is a trickster. We got the magician next to the devil, and then you walking away. Five of swords, uh, with your sword of nine of swords, stress, healing, ending the cycle, nurturing, wish for. Yeah, I feel like you see, you got there's some pretty things. There's some nice, like this person is gonna. I don't know if they're gonna come and say 
oh, I'm sorry, whatever they got to say with this Knight of Cups, okay? And this Ace of Wands and saying, hey, I got a new plan, a new perspective or whatever, and I love you a whole lot. Whatever this magician trickster energy is on top of the devil. But I feel like you don't want to work on this at all. Okay, and you're going to let them down nice with this gentleness card. But you, there's no way possible you telling them, look, no, I don't want to keep your offer. You really want to tell them, take this offer, shove it up your ass. Sit on it and spin something you really want to tell them. But you're not going to speak it. You're not going to say what's really on your mind with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse in the gentleness card. But you are going to let them know that I don't want to put the work into this. I don't want this offer. And that's, that's what you're going to communicate. It's going to be messages going back and forth. But you're going to be gentle. Well, how nice of you. Blessings coming in for you. Why is the blessings here? Clarify blessings for Aries. Yeah. And blessings. So you going on and you going about your business and healing. Choosing yourself. Charging passionately. Okay, being passionate about that choice on yourself too because you know what you deserve to the pinnacles and you're going to cut out what don't serve you. Okay, even if you care about them. Okay, and I feel like you're going to be blessed. Okay. Because that's you living in your truth by your clarity, putting in the work, okay? And you will later on down the line be blessed with love, I feel like. The love starts with you, though. It's starting with you. And then later on, another cup is going to be added to you where it'll start something. Then we have waiting. I don't know if it's reverse or upright, but I'm going to let you know in a minute. It came out in the reverse. Why is waiting here? Why is waiting here? That was the magician, but I wasn't done asking. Clarify waiting for Aries. Oh, yeah, it's over. You're done waiting. Clarify waiting. Yeah, waiting where? Who waiting? Not me. Nope, you, you're no longer. So you, the time where you was waiting, looking at your watch, or waiting on clarity, or waiting on somebody to say that, no, you're not doing that no more. King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Waiting is done for it. You're cutting it out. Okay, why are you cutting it out? Because now you done got in masculine energy. Even if, or you are masculine, but now, rather, regardless, you know what you want. You take an action of your life and making decisions that are best for you. So that's what you're doing. You're not waiting no more. You're going to heal yourself from this, okay? Find a balance in your life. Know that justice is going to be served to you, and it will. Because justice is right here. But you're going to work on healing. And once you heal, or you're in the process of healing, justice is going to come right in here and serve you up. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning. Something that you be passionate, something that you can hold on, something that can turn into a Ace of Pentacles, which you know you want, Okay? Something that you could see fruition in. So, yeah. Let's get you some advice before we close this out. Where we at? Some advice right here. Did I clarify all of them? Yep. Waiting in reverse was the last one. God, universe, angels, and spirit guides. Please give us some clear and concise advice regarding this spread for the sign of Aries. What advice do we have for Aries regarding this spread? Advice for Aries. Regarding the spread. Advice for Aries. Regarding the spread, please. What advice do we have for Aries regarding the spread? What advice do we have for Aries regarding the spread? Advice for Aries regarding the spread. Be at home. So we got Wombat Spirit that says to be at home. So let's see what's up with that. Number 68. That's the last card in the book, too. Okay. Barrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe, sound, and well-fed with the family is a special trait of the Wombat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. Wombat Spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. Do you you do this by accepting all that your experience all you all that you experience without oh wait a minute. All your experience without judgment. Through deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom of, to be yourself. You can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the coat and your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being. Understanding that all is well. Everything you do from this place rings true to harmony with spirit.
Okay, so and it says that um, it's, I feel the God to read this too. Could it be that you're not feeling comfortable in your own skin, thinking that the only way that you can be with others is to hide under a protection of a mask or identity you created to protect yourself from getting hurt? This mask or persona is supposed to make you look strong, but it really looks, it just robs you of your integrity. Wombat spirit arrives to nudge you to drop the false mask because it is not others who will hurt you now. It is you who are hurting yourself when you aren't being authentic. It's okay though. You can course correct if you are willing to be yourself no matter what comes. Even if others are not in agreement with your authenticity. 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 Yeah. You are safe with spirit. So you could be experiencing differences of opinions that are kind of separate, segregating, you know. So, but that's what I got for you, Aries. I hope this helps. And if it did, don't forget to like the video and let me know it resonated with you. And um, consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed, okay? Come on and join the healers, all right? So that's what I got for you. And I will see you guys next time in your next video. Peace.